Welcome, this is Zahn with Repo Products. This is Revit Tips and Tricks number 19. How to work with the shared parameter checkmark within a family. If I'm looking at level one in a view here, I have a counter and a sink that's created as a single family. If I go over to the annotate tab of the ribbon and I use tag by category, I can tag that counter and that family you'll notice it says T-1. What if I want to tag this sink that's inside this countertop a different object, obviously, which, a, which has a different tag? Let's go ahead and just tag this as it stands now. And if I select this particular family and edit the family, you can see the construction of this family has um, the countertop, it has the base, it has the um, base um, at the very bottom of the leg, and you have this sink. This sink is also another family. It's nested inside this family. If I select Edit Family again to get into this particular family and head over to the Family Category and Parameter, there is a feature within the Family Parameters portion. Scrolling down, you'll see it says Shared. By default, it's not checked. I check it and hit OK and load it back into that family, the kitchenette. It'll be overridden. If I select that family um, and then load this back into the project again and overwrite the one that I have, then if I go through the process of tagging, I can tag that separately. Now, to make sure that's correct, again, editing the family and drilling into this particular family and looking at its content, we'll go to the Edit Type Windows and go to the Type Mark Properties, and we'll put in here uh, S-1. We'll load that back into the project, overwrite the existing and now tag again. And if I tab to select that sink, uh, it'll ask me to load that tag for the plumbing fixture. We'll go ahead and load that tag. Go to plumbing. And we'll look for the plumbing tag. And actually, let's head over to my plumbing fixture tag here. And now that it's in, I can tab into that and click to place it. And again, it'll give me a question mark because I haven't actually updated that particular content. And if I go to edit type, you'll see type mark is T1 for that kitchenette. <clears throat> so drilling back into that family again and editing the family, selecting the sink and editing that family, going to its uh, content, you'll see it does still say shared. We'll go back to this family kitchenette that has a sink inside and go into its type properties. It says S1 and loading it back into the project. And if I tab into that sink, I can go to its type properties and you'll see here we can specify that as S1 and that value will update accordingly. And that is the tips and tricks for uh, how to tag a family that's nested inside another family.